Hey, GW coming to you live real quick, real quick. Uh, yeah, extreme close up. Yeah, real quick. Uh, I was just going through my, uh, watching the TV. My wife's got the, you know, the pictures from Google on the TV. And there's one of me and my buddy Charlie from FYE. And FYE used to be at the Clearview Mall. And if you walk through it now, it's a ghost town. So it just got me thinking that, uh, you know, there's a few stores in that place that, I, you know, I really do miss. Uh, FYE being the top number one. I miss that place because you could go in there and I knew a lot of the staff and I mean everybody. Everybody knew me from the manager, Jane, to my man, Charlie, to my man, Dave, you know. They were always good people. My girl Sarah used to work there, you know. Um, it was always a great, great thing to do. You, you know, on a Friday night, you get some money, you go down there, and uh, you'd hang out. And me and my buddy Charlie, we'd talk about movies like, like we were Siskel and Ebert for crying out loud. And he's a dude that I really do miss. Um, he would tell me, dude, you've seen this movie, you'll like it. He knew exactly what I liked and what I would buy before I even walked into the store, believe it or not, guys. He, him and me were on the same level. Same with Sarah. Anything Sarah thought was cool, she'd recommend it, I'd take it home. And you know what? They were always guests right, and they always treated you with respect. Uh, I do miss that place a lot. And... Uh, it just, it sucks that the mall that we used to know is gone. And it's long overdue that I put this short little video out because I don't know what happened. Clearview Mall used to be a great place to, to go. In fact, that's where I met my, my wife when we got back together was at the Clearview Mall in a restaurant called Garfield's. It is no longer there. It was a great restaurant. They had great food. And I proposed to her right there, you know, in that place. And then, of course, you'd make your way up to FYE, and then you had an arcade, you had all kinds of cool stuff, and now it's just dead, you know. I mean, not now, there's probably booths and stuff set up for the Christmas time rush, but that was one store. Um, another store, another store, star. Another store was Hot Topic. I love going in there and getting my ICP t-shirts or my Charlie Sheen t-shirts, you know, I love those because you can find those things. And, or horror t-shirts. And that place has now since moved out too. It is relocated, I'm not sure exactly where. My wife would never go in there. She said she didn't like the atmosphere. I would always go in there and yik yak and talk. Radio Shack. Now there's a store that's been pretty old. Radio Shack, I used to go in there and, and you know, talk up a storm with the owners on a Friday night. And you learn stuff. You learn about things when you just talk to managers and store, you know, store workers. And long, long, long time ago, right across the street from, or right across the way from FYE used to be another record store called Waves. Waves was, if you couldn't find it at FYE, you went to Waves. If you went to Waves and couldn't find it, you went to FYE. You know, they say competition is good, but eventually FYE did, did win out. Um, so I'm sitting here right now, I'm looking at me and Charlie, we're holding up a picture of Pulp, or a video cassette, or a, a DVD of Pulp Fiction. My wife put that picture on Facebook, and it says, these guys really take their movies seriously. In fact, we did. And I remember when the store closed, I went in and saw Charlie and, and Dave, and Dave, you guys, was a dead ringer for Robert Downey Jr. He really was. And it was a very sad occasion. It felt like something that you held dear for a couple of years, years and years, was, was dead. And there's no way that I can thank everybody there for their, their time. GameStop was another animal. I'm going to cover that here in a little bit because I had some good times at GameStop and I had some bad times at GameStop. And that GameStop is no longer in the Clearview Mall. But it's by Target, and it's under new management, and y'all should check it out. 
But I just wanted to sit here and, and tell you guys what that store meant to me because I miss going in there. I miss looking through all the rap records, you know, and seeing what's... And then you'd look at the DVDs and you'd say, okay, hey, Charlie, can you find something with, uh, you know, that's pretty bloody and gory that is really cool, not cheesy? And he would he would help you out. He would always take priority with me, and it's just a shame that that store's gone. And it just made me think of of that when I saw the picture. And I, I just wanted to pass that on to you guys. Maybe you guys have a store that you guys hold dear and is no longer there. So, you know, just wanted to pass that along to you. And we're gearing up for Christmas, so there's probably going to be some more videos coming down the pike. Uh, rumor is I got a copy of Oppenheimer. I don't know if I do or not, but I'm going to review that because apparently it is one of the hardest DVDs to get. But I don't know. We'll see on Christmas morning if I do actually have that in my hands. I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. And if I don't get to, I wanted to say Merry Christmas. Thanks.